Hey guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. Coming to you with a little bit of a preamble because this vlog was supposed to have multiple things and none of them worked out, but I figured I would still upload it anyways. And this is gonna be for those of you who enjoy just kind of like a rambly sort of hang out with me style vlog. Cause I had some more, I guess, interesting things that were supposed to be in here. And in the process of, or like right after I got my chemical peel, which is supposed to be a big part of this video. I either messed up my card, but I also dropped my camera and broke it and then lost the first half of this vlog. And then I just had like a really, really bad week, but I figured I would show it to you anyways. <laughs> and yeah, so not gonna be the most riveting, but if you kind of wanna just like hang out and chill uh, in a little bit more of a simple vlog, this is gonna be it. Um, I'm actually, if you can tell, I don't know if you can see, but in the middle of also kind of redecorating the apartment a little bit, kind of sprucing things up because it's just impossible to move. It's way, 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 way too expensive to get a two bedroom apartment in downtown Toronto right now, like easy $3,000 a month, which is not what we're gonna do. So kind of redecorating a little bit. So I will be doing a vlog of that. And then I'm trying to remember what I said to you in the beginning of this vlog that I lost. I know I was talking a lot about podcasts that I'm into and I know a lot of you are into the same ones. So I love, 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 love Up and Vanished. I know I'm late to it, but it's incredible. It's like a missing, um, kind of like a cold case, but kind of has some developments in it, which is so interesting. I'm still listening to that. And then I've also been listening to Crime Beat. I just got home, so rude, just woke up. Hi, baby, come here. Come here. Mm hmm crime beat which is by a canadian journalist a lot of my favorite podcasts are by canadians and canadian journalists uh and that's really really good and then as you know a lot of my other favorite podcasts are uh uncovered another canadian someone knows something another canadian all like cbc i remember growing up and like adults would always be listening to like cbc talk radio and i think this is the equivalent of like talk radio because of mine is like murder podcasts. And then super exciting. I know I've talked about Canadian true crime a bunch. She's not a journalist, but she, well, she's actually Australian living in the GTA here in, in near Toronto. But we got to chatting on Instagram and we're actually meeting this week, which is crazy because I'm like her number one fan. I love that podcast so, so, so much. Uh, I'll list everything down below that I have mentioned. And uh, I think that's about it. But yeah, it was a bit of a rough week, but uh, come along with me, my friends. <laughs> and I will also show you uh, a little bit of the facial. Like I said, I filmed it all and I only took a couple clips for Instagram because I knew that, uh, actually, why don't I talk about that now? Because I knew I was gonna be doing, like uh, covering it in this video. So I didn't do that much on my phone, but what I did do on my phone I'll show it to you now. Basically, they just did like a cleaning and then she applied like a papaya, some kind of enzyme mask and then went on with the peel and what i didn't realize is peels are st or this peel is self neutralizing so it didn't actually get removed from my skin it was at the clinica here in toronto they invited me to come for this treatment i did micro needling with them a little while back and that is highlighted in my skincare stories on instagram and they invited me in to do like a follow-up chemical peel i had no peeling on my face my skin feels so smooth so amazing it's going to depend on your skin and i feel like because i use a lot of acids in the day to day that i don't have a lot of peeling but really really good experience super super quick and uh very little downtime like i said i had a little bit of redness for the rest of the day like for an hour maybe and i didn't wear any makeup or anything and I'm also wearing the Too Faced Born This Way for the first time. I'm wearing the shade Caramel, and I think, I feel like as soon as I put it on my face, it oxidized. I think I'm gonna be more of a honey gal, but I'll need to report back on that. But anyways, uh, the chemical peel was really, really good, and I'm really sorry that I don't have the footage to show you. Of course, like, the only thing that I can't recreate in this vlog is the chemical peel, and um, that is the footage I lost, but definitely recommend them. They're really great. Uh, I will, of course, link them down below, but uh, let's go ahead and get into the rest of the vlog. Just kind of general chit chat, a little bit of meal prep as well if you enjoy the, the food stuff. So let's get into it. Good morning. Welcome to another weekly vlog. It's been a little while. Uh, today, not a, I guess a little bit planned. I don't know why I'm talking to you like this, but 
Um, going to get a peel later today, which is really exciting. And then right now I'm doing my taxes. First, gonna clean up my desk, but I gotta finish up my taxes. So that's the plan for the first thing this morning. Hey guys, I know it has been a little while since I checked in. I just finished filming, as you saw, and you might have seen a little bit of behind the scenes, the smoke and mirrors that I have to go through to make my filming setup look good. You can see I'm sharing the uh, den with Nems. It's a very, very small space. And um, like I've, I always say, like if I sneeze, the whole thing could come tumbling down and I'm pretty sure that's true. But anyways, uh, I haven't checked in in two days because mm, everything fell apart. So <laughs> I went and got my chemical peel, as you saw, went really well. My skin is not peeling at all. I've had a peel once before. My skin never peels. I don't know if it's because I use acids on the regular or not, but um, my skin is not peeling, feels so smooth. It, it didn't hurt at all. It smelled horrific, but you could only smell it for like a couple seconds. And anyways, I will list them down below. They're, they're fabulous and they did like a whole skin analysis when I a skin analysis when I went in and showed me like, here you have some sun damage and stuff. It was a really interesting process, but uh really really good experience there and i feel like my skin definitely looks better i did want to show you oh there's one more product that i forgot i wanted to show you a couple of products that i've really been liking lately i want to talk to you in my good lighting while it's set up but while i was at the clinic i was setting up my camera to um to film the process and I dropped it and this camera has like a flip up screen and I've dropped it a million times because it's like a vlog camera it gets a lot of use and abuse but of course this is the time that my camera broke so I broke the screen it still works I'm talking to you here on it now so if I'm looking up it's just there's literal like chunks of glass like not missing but I'm afraid they're gonna fall out anyway so that was really annoying but I was kind of expecting it I've only had this camera for a year I bought it um around this time last year actually so that was really annoying and then I came home and I got a, just a call that really kind of knocked my feet out from under me I guess you could say and I can't really go into it and it's annoying because I know that like it's so typical youtuber to be like oh my god everything's going so bad and I can't tell you but like you have to remember that like there's things that I say to you that I don't say to people in my life literally but also you don't know who's watching your videos you don't know what their intent is and once you put something out there on the internet it's out there forever so as much as I want to be open and honest with you I also need to be realistic and not naive to the world that is out there um, because not everyone's intentions are great and you know I have an amazing connection with you and I want to tell you everything but like I truly can't so anyways it it's a work related issue and it really really even still now it, it really is probably one of the worst things to happen since I've started my channel and it sucks and I cried and cried and cried all evening on Tuesday was it that I checked in with you no Wednesday night I cried all day basically after that and then um, the next day I found out that a good friend of mine who had moved away uh, temporarily is now not coming back. So then I cried about that and it was just like a really emotional <laughs> kind of 24 hours and uh, you know 
regarding the the work and YouTube thing it's it's nothing that is going to affect my videos or affect anything that I do like you won't notice it but for me it was just basically I was working on a really big project and it's kind of all come crumbling down and it's the biggest project I've ever worked on in terms of like the scope of it the content financially and it's just like oh, man it it just really hurts because like this is a business and it's my job but it's also like me like I am the business this is also a hobby it's something I've worked so hard for so there's just like a lot of highs and lows because you can't really separate yourself from the business because like I said the business is me so it's hard not to take things personally sometimes because my business is literally my personality kind of in a way or the way I look or anything like that you never know so anyways I'm trying to stay positive and things are good and you know otherwise things are fine but it's just it's just a bummer man so anyways it's been a rough two days but anyways finally washed my hair this morning for the first time in like way too long and filmed a video i will have this get ready with me linked down below but i wanted to show you a couple things so i tried this out recently you can see all the mess on nim's desk this is the nexus line this is the carafix damage healing conditioner and i use the shampoo too um they are exclusive to shoppers drug mart and i went to their event a few weeks back and i really like that stuff then this is from skin fix oh god i've used the kerastasis kerastasis polaris cream a bunch and love that so this is their resurface glycolic renewing scrub they've repackaged all their stuff and they're at sephora now which is really exciting this is seven percent glycolic acid and six percent lactic acid so it's good for pre it's a pre-shower body peel for rough bumpy crepey skin and i have a little bit of kp like chicken skin on the back of my arms and i swear because i haven't used the cream in a while i ran out and they just sent me that and i you put it on before you get in the shower and i let it sit there i rubbed it into like the back of my arms legs wherever i have those little bumps and like already the bumps are like almost gone it's crazy you put it on on dry skin and uh then they also have like a cream that i use after the shower and my the back of my arms feel totally different and then I've also been loving this from Kiehl's. It is the Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Concentrate. Everybody is putting like CBD and cannabis. And it's interesting because it just got legalized in Canada when in October, but it's not like it got legalized in the world. But I guess like, cause Canada was legalizing it and some of the, the states have maybe, I don't know, like it's just a trend, but anyways. This is for blemish prone skin. It's a herbal blend of hemp derived cannabis, sativa seed oil, oregano oil to calm and rebalance the skin. It really reminds me of the Sunday Riley UFO oil. If you like that, you'll really like this. And I feel like it really is like kind of, my skin was like not breaking out, but it's about to be that time of the month. Hence why like everything is also so emotional right now. <laughs> and I feel like that has helped to calm down my skin. I really like it. You only need a little bit. Don't get it in your eyes. Cause like it burns in the eyeballs, like most products but yeah really liking that and that is pretty much it so i just wanted to check in with you again i'm sorry for the vagueness but i hope you can understand i know most of you will and uh, someone won't and that's fine but anyways uh yeah i'll check back with you uh probably tomorrow morning what are you doing you cuddling with dad? She's so cozy. I look amazing. It's 2 a.m. on <laughs> Friday night. Not coming to you because I was out late partying. I don't know what happened. Nems, I was like in bed doing work, just kind of chilling out. My back is hurting for some reason. I don't know if it's old age but uh having some like a lot of pain in my lower back and um uh, nems like took a nap so then i took a nap and he was going out at nine and then i woke up we woke up at like just after 8 p.m and then he went out i guess i must have fallen back to sleep because then i woke up and was talking to him like i thought we were still having our conversation he was not here it's it was midnight i've now been awake for two hours and it's the middle of the night so i'm actually gonna have this um great value butter chicken if you're indian please forgive me because this isn't authentic but this is something i always keep in the fridge and i know like oh my god frozen meals youtube is gonna come burn my apartment down but it's like 250 calories four grams of fat 16 grams of protein and decent on sodium i'm not particularly concerned about my sodium intake 
obviously like I don't want it to be crazy but it's not something that I'm like ooh, gotta wash my sodium like I have no health issues or anything so I always keep those kinds of things in the fridge just because it's really good to have around like if I ate a lot during the day and I just want something like lighter and easy or for a moment like this where I'm like I need to eat something because I haven't eaten since like 4 p.m. today but I don't know what to eat and it's still like quite low calorie and it's pretty good not as good as like really Indian food but get it from Walmart it's like two bucks anyways so that's what's up <laughs> this lighting though oh my god this is real life people I don't know what other people do in their vlogs but this is what happens here on my channel microwaved meals at 2 a.m I don't know I find it comforting when I see people doing this kind of stuff because sometimes I feel like I'm in the minority everyone is like at Coachella now at Revolve Festival. I don't even understand Revolve. Is it a clothing brand? Anyways, I'm gonna eat this <laughs> and watch some YouTube. Blam. So I just finished my meal prep for the week and it doesn't really look like the typical meal prep and I don't really like to do the typical meal prep a lot lately because I just get bored with eating the same things over and over or I get bored with the fact that all I have to do is like microwave addition there's no cooking involved some people hate to cook and want to just cook everything in advance other people like I like to just have a little bit of freshness so plan for the week this is a mushroom soup it looks like literal trash but it's only 70 calories a serving which basically is nothing and all I put in it really essentially was um, mushrooms, onions, a little bit of celery, garlic, some spices like fennel and sage, and then also almond milk and Greek yogurt and blended it partially. I like to still leave a little bit of chunks and then I plan, I'm missing a nail here, I plan to have this with a ciabatta bun which is about 250 calories and then maybe some deli meat or something on the side but it's going to be kind of like a lighter meal. Here is my quiche, so in here I put eggs, egg whites, feta cheese, spinach, mushrooms, onions, and a little bit of back bacon. This is about 350 calories a serving, so I'll get like a quarter of the pie each time. And then here I made a pasta salad, so I used pasta, grape tomatoes, cucumber, olive oil, measured my olive oil to make sure I didn't put too much, and I'm going to put feta in this upon serving as well. And you'll kind of notice there's a lot of similar ingredients too, so it keeps your price down. Like I used mushrooms in all of these dishes, I used feta in these two, uh, just something to keep in mind. And then I'm going to have this with cod, and I don't like to cook the fish ahead of time, so I just have that portioned in the fridge. And we'll eat that fish with this, because cod is quite like a light fish, and then this adds a nice amount of calories and fat and carbs and stuff. And then I kind of leave the rest of my week open, so I have four servings here, three here, and three here which will keep me going for the week. And yeah, I'm pretty excited about these meals. I've fallen off of meal prep and gotten a little bit bored with it, so I tried to come up with some new and different, not that these are new and different, but in terms of what I regularly eat, this is a little bit different. So uh, yeah, these are my meals for the week. And as you saw, I input it all in my fitness pal, so then I don't need to do any calculating during the week. It's just a matter of like, okay, I have my quiche recipe, it's all been entered in there, and then I can just type in or press quiche and it enters it in there for me if you are counting calories and watching your portions. Uh, otherwise, these are all like just regular recipes. They're not diet portions, it's just portion control. And I always try to make sure to um, bulk up any pasta dish with vegetables, so then it just feels like you have more food, which is always the goal. So uh, yeah, that's everything there today. 
so yeah thank you so much for sticking with me <laughs> um i hope you enjoyed this vlog and hopefully the rest of them will be a little bit more in terms of uh content along with um i'm just in a better headspace now things are turning around so i i'm feeling i'm feeling better than i was last week so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on instagram twitter and facebook at samantha jane yt and i'll see you guys next time bye